Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day, and today we're playing Warplanes WW2 Dogfights. WW2 Dogfights, uh, depending on how you like to say it. But um, I finally, I've been playing a little bit without recording and kind of like getting, well, getting some upgrades and things. Let's check this out. So, um, base silver guarantees max. I started doing repair costs just because it all it all adds up. I would like to save up for the base operating cost, but it's kind of nice to get the cheap ones in there too. The cheap uh, prestige point cost upgrades. Then also in the planes, plane department, got the um, the armor on both planes. And then also, no, I didn't do the engine yet, but um, or on this one, didn't do the engine cooldown period yet. But uh, also got the bomber repaired, but still... I'm reluctant to use it or, or engage in missions that require a bomber because they cost so much to repair. So much. Um, that that set that set me back quite a bit in this playthrough, I think. Um, but anyway, the repair cost of that is what I'm talking about. So the next mission, defensive. So this is... It's in Palestine. I, I guess I, I kind of gloss over this because it's like the mission's pretty straightforward. You go in, you kill everything, or like, you know, you do the thing. Whatever the objective says in the top left... But, um, so I've, I've not been reading this, but it's, it's interesting. So I just did one. It was in Egypt and now this one's in, uh, Palestine. And I need to set the default plane to this one. Cause I, I love these 20 millimeter cannons. You have to defend our train transporting fuel. Destroy all enemy tanks. You have to focus your fire on enemy bombers. This mission is critical to our war effort. We're on it. Okay, fuel train's there, so we need to go intercept these bombers before they destroy the fuel train. Fighter destroyed. <laughs> I love uh, the AI. I have him. It's not bad. Um, the AI fighter. A fighter destroyed. I have Taking a little bit of damage here. Wow, getting chaotic. Let's bring it back around, come in behind these bombers. They're down there. I totally missed them. Taking damage. Oh, too much damage. Gonna take some hits, though, I guess. If we come down from below, it looks like we'll be safer. Depends on the type of plane that we're fighting, too. Because some of them have true tail guns. Where it's, it's on the tail, so it doesn't matter if you're up high or down low. Oh, just tear them apart. And now we can have the AI and myself targeting these bombers, hopefully. Nope, the AI is going straight for the fighters. All right, that's fine. <laughs> okay, it looks like if we stay out of range of the tail guns, that's the way to do it. So just kind of eat up some of that distance by moving laterally instead of just straight toward them. Took a lot of damage there, though. Enemy locked on. Enemy bombers in sight. That's a confirmed kill on enemy fighter. Got him in sight. Let's keep the radio chatter to a minimum, guys. God. I'm on him. Target down. We're okay. He must be dead. All right, so we have four bombers looking at the top left. Four bombers left. We have to destroy a tank platoon too. I'm not sure if they're I headed. If they're headed for our fuel train. I'm on him. Oh, not good. Get too close. Enemy fighters approaching. Watch your six. I'm on him. Bomber no longer a threat. Objective completed. One step nice. closer to victory. Okay, so we have. I'm guessing seven more fighters. Our AI plane will take care of that, and then six tanks here. Looking at the objectives in the top left. Got this well, these guys are tough. This would be nice for a bomber, wouldn't it? It's going to take a few minutes. Please hold. My sight. Okay, last one here. And so one thing I've noticed that I commented on in another video was this. So this plane, it has four 20 millimeter cannons. And so we have 900 rounds. And I thought that that was... 900 divided by 4, like 900 rounds total, but it's not. Right-clicking once. Right-clicking once uses one round, one shot. So we have 900 shots uh, total um, of all four cannons, which is pretty sweet.
okay, cool. So we're getting a lot of gold just from the achievements, which I'm pretty sure this game is set up. And I, I commented when I was playing with the Japanese that um, I'm pretty sure that's the way the game is set up. Where, like, you... Where... Let's see. Where you get used to getting all this gold from these achievements, and then once they're... Once you've completed them all, like, the gold stops. And, like, the only way to get gold is premium missions. Yeah. We'll sell 500 gallons for two gold, sure. That's one way to get gold, but very slowly, right? That just trickles in. The other way is, uh, where is it? Right here, and then right here. So you get 20 gold once per day. And so, you know, they suck you in. This is part of the monetization. They suck you in with those achievements, giving you gold, and then suddenly it dries up, and then you are without gold, but you're probably at a point in the game where you've, you've played quite a bit, and uh, you like it, and the upgrades at that point require a lot of gold. So um, it, then eventually you'll, you'll head here to the premium shop, and you'll buy gold. But, I mean, again, I was looking at this. It It's pretty affordable. So you can get, like, the premium mode for one year, $8, and then 2,800 gold, which is a lot for another $8. So 16 bucks for a game. And if you look at it that way compared to how much time you had you had played it, um, it's probably a good deal. That's what I like about home net games is they are affordable. They, they have reasonable pricing. But uh, we took some, took some damage there, 105 silver. And then I'm not sure if we can repair the other one right now. I don't think so. Yeah, so all the shops are busy, so we can't use that one um, for this next this next round. But we have 35 prestige points. Let's see. What can we get? What can we get? Thir yeah, we'll just do that one. Again, it all adds up. I would like to focus on just one, one of them, or, you know, like any one and complete it. But that last tier costs 70 prestige points. And they all seem to go toward the same thing, which is just reducing costs. So right here, trainer, reducing uh, pilot training costs, reducing structure costs, um, exchange rates right here. This this is pretty nice, but um, maybe I'll focus on that one soon. But I was trying to get it to where I could um, consistently do missions and have enough money to repair planes and all that. And also, I, I found out that um, munitions, like the 20 millimeter cannon ammunition... It doesn't cost anything, which is nice. You just you use it, and then you go back to the hangar, and then it's just reloaded, and that's it. Okay, and so here's an example. I was looking at some upgrades and things, so let's look at this. Okay, so we've got uh, Tier 3 for armor, and if we want to get to Tier 4, it's going to cost 15 gold, which is fine. It's kind of nice to have something that, cost, that, that doesn't cost silver. So 20 gold. Yeah, we'll do that one, and then... This one, I wonder how much it costs here. 50, 70, 90. Okay, so it costs the same, even though it's a bigger plane. I was just kind of thinking, um, training training a bomber pilot costs more than training a fighter pilot. So I was thinking that maybe the armor, you know, it's more armor plating. plating. It's a bigger plane. So I was thinking that um, it would cost more. It does not, which is nice. So I think we're going to upgrade. Let's see the last, this one right here. We will do this one too. And 20. We'll just upgrade the armor all the way, which in turn will uh, re hopefully reduce repair costs, because that's that's been kind of like the limiting factor so far. Um, can we assign a pilot without... Yeah, so it's damaged. We can't repair it right now. Let's see if we can make another another hangar. Is 60... No, that's not what we want. We want a workshop. 420 gold. Okay, so we'll have to go get some more gold. Or some more um, silver. And we have... Bomber and a fighter. Let's try it. Let's try a solo mission, um, defensive mission. I started off... My my thought process has changed. I used to really focus on these missions because of the extra prestige points, which would mean leveling faster, which would mean uh, being able to reduce our costs faster. But um, I think getting this extra money is actually the way to go. But so now we're in Palestine. Ajul? Ajul town? Protect fuel refinery, destroy bomber squadron. Okay. That it doesn't mention any fighters, but when we get there, there are always fighters. What's up in the air? So you decided to go on this mission by yourself. I'm impressed. Here those are, are those balloons. Okay. Our refinery. You have to focus your fire on the bombers. Teach the enemy a lesson they will never forget. Boys. And they're the fighters. But they are secondary. So they will destroy the balloons. Um, the balloons will keep the bombers, the enemy bombers, from doing their thing and bombing. 
And so these fighters will try to destroy the balloons. I think we need to take out the fighters. And these fighters are, are gnarly. Yes, because they have tail guns. Where is he? Where is he? Luckily, they're not like 20 millimeter cannons. They don't. Oh, they've already gotten two balloons. Really? I have him. Fighter down. I'm on him. Protect the target. So these 20 millimeter cannons do a lot of damage, but their range is very short. I'm not seeing any bombers yet. I think all of our balloons are gone now. So I should expect the bombers pretty quickly here. There they are. Ooh, they're going to get off a bombing run, aren't they? I'm on him. Got him in sight. Bomber no longer a threat. I'm on him. Enemy bomber down. I'm closing in for the shot. Protect the fuel refinery. We're still... That objective is untouched so far. They haven't destroyed any of it, which is good. I thought they would have gotten a couple there. Here's another bomber. The last bomber from that squadron. I have him. Bomber down. Hostile bomber spotted. Okay, there we go. We're going to focus on the bombers here. Actually. Yeah, I think we should. Because they're the ones who will destroy the objective, right? Not the fighters, although the fighters are going to do a lot of damage to me, I feel like. And they're closer. I don't know. I'm closing in for the shot. That's a confirmed kill on enemy fighter. I'm on him. Ah! Yeah, taking too much damage there. He fought him. I have him. Enemy down. Enemy locked on. Hopefully we don't get in range of their tail guns. I've got him. These 20 millimeter cannons are awesome. Um, that was a recommendation by uh, someone who left a comment on my channel. That was, I forget their full name, but it was Romeo Heartbreaker or something like that. So thank you for that. Taking a little bit of damage here. I'm going to get some space so that way we can actually like get an angle and approach proper like. Taking a lot of damage. Not good. Just for those repair bills. Who else wants some? I'm on him. Bomber destroyed. Got him in sight. So I haven't completely That's figured out how to how to avoid their defensive guns fire. And maybe you just don't. You know, maybe you just take some shots and that's part of the game. So four more bombers. Which means uh, seven targets, or seven are fighters, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. I don't know if we have flat guns. Are they defensive? You know, like, um, grounded defense. I don't see anything. No, maybe those vehicles are, but I'm not sure. I think we're going to take out the bombers first. Because they're about equidistant from our base. Enemy locked on. Target down. I have him. I'm gonna take Enemy some fire down. here, I think. Nope. Okay. Objective completed. Well, can't complain about that ever. Do you want to stay on this mission? Yeah, stay on the mission. Again, it's probably not economically feasible because Enemy we'll take more damage than. Oh, why are they all so close together? <laughs> We'll take more damage than the, the silver reward for completing the secondary objective, but we'll get those prestige points. Holy cow, we're taking a lot of damage, though. I'm not... I'm going to have to be a little bit more cautious, I think. Fighter destroyed. Enemy locked on. Bandit down. Try to take him out at on. kind of at distance, Enemy even though we have a short-range weapon, so that way... We can avoid a group of like eight guys that are like right on top of each other for some reason. And we'll use the maneuverability, I guess, to our advantage. I'm not sure if we have more maneuverability than these planes, but it's cert it seems like it. Good kill. Enemy fighter going down. 
Oh, almost, almost collided there. That would be bad. That'd fail the mission instantly. I have him. Fight her down. Where are you? I'm closing in for the shot. Fight her down. Get off Taking me. damage. Oh, man. That's all right. Just going to take some hits. Now we're just flying circles around each other, aren't we? I'm getting dizzy. One more plane. Let's do it. Gotcha. Nice. Yeah, that was over $100 in extra damage, I think. And we only got 50 but that's all right. Again, it's those prestige points. They help out a lot. They'll reduce cost eventually. Boss, some planes came back pretty smashed up from the last mission. Well, only one, right? Because we only had one plane. 168 silver. That's... I I think that armor helped out a lot. That's that's less than I was expecting. For like... It was like 80% damage on the fuselage, right? Nice. So, if you've been following along with this playthrough of this game... Um, I've made a lot of commentary about having to like kind of overcome the the financial disadvantage in this game of uh, balancing repair costs with mission rewards, the silver. And there was a point where I had one plane and the other two were in the um, in the workshop and they were going to take some time to repair and take some time to make the money in order to re uh, afford the repairs. But I think we've kind of overcome that hurdle, which is cool because um, the game what well, gets a lot more fun when that happens, right? We're going to get this one. Get an extra... Wait, increases mission prestige points reward for each mission by two prestige points per skill level. So yeah, we'll start working on this one also. We only have ten left though, so I think I'm going to save up for the next one. And um, I'm going to call this this video here. Thank you for watching. This is Warplanes WW2 Dogfight. Free to play on Steam. Go check it out. If you like Space Commander, you will probably like this game. Um, it's... I don't know if it's better or if it's it's just different. I don't think that there's any story. We're just trying to win the war or something. I'm not sure. Uh, there hasn't really been a lot of a lot of uh, talk about that in the game. But um, Space Commander did have a story, even though I didn't really follow it. It was there, and I know most people who played it did follow the story. So this game doesn't seem to have that. But um, it's it's equal but different, right? <laughs> So anyway, thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. We'll see you in the next one.